you're not in it. I'm in it. What, what is this? <laughs> That's the video. Chocolate. I went climbing. Welcome to today's vlog, Miss. Today's just gonna be a chat. We've got this guy back in in the action. Um, I feel like you just you're kind of like in the background of videos a lot now, or just this is my I life. Mean, decorating. I'm in the background, just either decorating or cleaning constantly. Fixing the house. Working. Yeah, and then I show up and take care of Viva just a little bit, and then I leave again. He's like, all right, bye. Uh, <laughs> so today's video, um, we had somebody ask us a, a question that I told her I wanted to answer in a video because um, it's a good question. So basically the question is, do we miss living in the RV now that we've been in the house for a while? And so I thought we could answer. Do you want to go first? Sure. I miss it every day. So <laughs> I, I like I like how small and compact everything is and how little work and like, it's almost like, uh, you know, without ever having, and this is something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to sail. Uh, it's something I know that's very difficult and like it's a whole venture. This is the closest thing. And I always feel like there always has to be like teamwork. There always has to be some kind of like understanding of, you know, the ship which is, you know, just RV in general. Uh, and I'm sure it's for any, like, uh, whether it's, like, whether it's a uh, bumper pull or whatever, you just need to know what you're working with. Mm -hmm. um, and so whenever it breaks, because everything breaks, it seems like. Uh, right now, the uh, the water heater is needing to be reset, and so, um, and I need to winterize. There's still, I'm still, it's still here, right? The RV's still on the premises. We still use the bed as a guest bed here because <laughs> that thing is comfortable. It is. And it's a little slice of old home, you Paid know. Paid extra for that thing. And we did. It is not, like if we sell the RV, it's, it doesn't come with a mattress. No, and we may do the whole <laughs> rent the RV out. I, you know, there's so many options because then we can, of course, keep the RV and use it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like old times when we can go to Colorado or wherever. And so, but yes, I, I do miss the thing. I mean, it's still, like I said, it's still here. Yeah. I still go in there and it smells just like it did before <laughs> yeah i mean probably better because i'm not in it but <laughs> probably <laughs> but that. yeah shut up <laughs> shut it <laughs> well merry christmas <laughs> but i do yeah it's it's nice to be able to just walk in there and be like oh yeah mm -hmm. i remember this we parked this into the memories. thing and i hit the tree with the thing knocked it down and all that you know it's like memories yeah i do i miss it too i really do i kind of think of it like pre-eva days like i miss it like i miss pre i guess pre being parent before being parents i miss the freedom of just being able to drop everything and do whatever we wanted but at the same time i wouldn't trade being in this house because i love it so much and it's just perfect for our family we it's, worked hard for this house and so it's it's so worth it but of course i miss the rv i miss being in that small like cozy space i miss the possibility of picking up and, and going places. I miss the trips that we took. I miss being in there with the dogs. I don't want to cry, but I miss being in there with Buzz and Brady. Yeah, they smelled. Um, I smelled, they smelled. Like cuddles on the bed. Smelled, and so yeah, I miss that. Like Oh man, when they can jump up on the bed. I know, I know. And it was a it was just a really great chapter in our life. And I look back with nothing but happy memories. Um, so of course I, I do miss it a lot. But it's just not, it's just not our life anymore. You know, we had a baby and yeah, now we need all of the space. Eva would be miserable if we stayed in that thing full time. Miserable. Yeah. Because well, she needs space. Like she loves to run. We chase yeah. her around. If we tried to chase her in that RV, there's nowhere to go. It would be done in two <laughs> seconds. I think it'd be, it'd be fun to stay in there intermittently if we traveled. Um, but I, as of right now, obviously we're not at a place where we're going to be traveling, so. And we can also test it out with her. We can take her back over there and see, you know, what she does. Uh, you know, different age. Uh, yeah. Ages, you know. But, you know, maybe in this year, in the spring, we'll try her out in it and see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, also, the truck that we have currently, I just, it's not great for this. Because, you know, we got it because of the situation that we were in a little while back. And um, it's just not... It's not good. Yeah. So uh, there, there may be a, a change there before we actually do travel in it ever again, which that could be a while. So. No, but I say, I say, if we plan to do anything RV life again, I want it to be like a like a Class C. Which means we'd have to sell this one. Yeah. Like that's what I want. Anybody want to buy a modified RV? <laughs> 
<laughs> a good price. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a good price. Um, it's, uh, in, we'll it's in good quality. You know, it's in good shape. Yeah, we've taken care of it. It doesn't have a ton of miles on it, obviously. Um, but anyway, yeah. so AC yeah, works great. Yeah, we we do miss it. Um, Ooh, just we'll I all the AC vents blowing around. Mm. Yeah, you wake up in the middle of summer and you got the AC blowing mm. on you on that comfy bed, and it's like I like the I like being cozy in a small space, like just it's just nice. And but then it's also cool it real quick. Oh. it's also mm. really nice to be in this house and to wake up and watch Eva run from the bedroom into here and play with her toys yeah. and chase her from room to room. And if I want to play Xbox. I don't have to move something, you know what I mean? Like the yeah. record player. Like I always have to switch something out. Like oh I can only gosh, do so one much thing. Tetris. Yeah, and then things with Eva. It's like if I have to hide in something. Like okay, she's messing with the Xbox or messing with something I don't want to mess with. I have to like completely store it away somewhere, and then I have to if I want to work on it again or play with it or whatever it is. Right, I have to get it out. And so that here we just put it on the counter. This, yeah, this is a great space. I have a room for every little thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I know where everything goes. There, it's just, it was she a small space, room, but it was a mess in my mind. Her like, own space, like she's got a full room of toys, and it's, so it's, I mean, obviously we love the house, but we do, we do miss the RV. I do miss it, and yeah, the adventures, and the memories, and the, I was going to say the people we were with, but the dogs. So as y'all can tell, we are not full-timers anymore. Like, no. men mentally, we're not even going back to that just because we've worked so hard on this. There's so many plans for this house and also businesses. Uh, I mean, every little thing that we do mm -hmm. is now kind of expanded past just like, yes. especially expanded yes. past the 25 foot RV. I think it was a good representation. Like, our family expanded, but our life is also expanding because, like, there's so many different aspects to our lives where we need space to spread out and you need to be able to have your own office and, like, an actual computer set up. Um, and we just, we outgrew the RV. We really yep. did. And it's bittersweet because again, the, it was incredible being in it. And I think we learned a lot too. Um, got rid of a bunch of crud and are trying not to accumulate a bunch of crud again. Um, don't look at, I have more room for clothes here and I also appreciate that. That's one of the things I really appreciate is I have more room for clothes yeah. again. I like how you call his parents, and I, I definitely have like a dad tan right there. <laughs> you just wanted to flex your muscle. I just want, I feel like I need to go mow the lawn or something. <laughs> you do have a dad tan. I do. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. <laughs> so, I, you can't even see the muscles because they're all washed out. Long story short, we no. miss it very much. No, let's talk about me and my muscles looking. <laughs> Will we go back? <laughs> no. Not, not full time. No. Yes, we will go back intermittently. Yes, I, I do want to. Obviously, it would be awesome to travel, but we are RVers still, but we are not full time at heart. Yeah, it's in here. We're RVers at heart. Yeah, well, okay, we're full time <laughs> in here. <laughs> I, I feel like in some aspects, I still, like, I still feel like we're in the RV. I don't. I think it's just mentally. I don't know. That doesn't yeah. make sense. Well, I mean, yeah, you don't want to buy a bunch of stuff. You, uh, you're simple. Mm -hmm. But I also still, I still enjoy watching other people that live that lifestyle, and I, I guess I feel more, I still feel connected to that lifestyle because it was, it was our life for five years. It was fun. And I want to see what y'all are doing. We learned a lot in a very short time <laughs> because we had to. We had to. Um, but I mean, if if any of you guys are watching that have been with us since the RV days, all of y'all played a crucial role in in. Our growth like as our viewers because I'm sure y'all remember how many questions we had and everybody the, on the, the channel helped made. so much yeah, we made a ton of mistakes but just all the help that we got from our YouTube family was really really cool so yeah we appreciate it we survived for like four something years or something I don't even I forgot how long but a long time in an RV and a, a lot and a of 25 foot RV with a Murphy bed <sighs> a I'm glad we didn't choose the one roads. we, we are, I almost chose the one with a static bed and that would have been like almost all bed and no room to walk around. And I don't we, remember that. You don't remember that one? Mm -hmm. It was at the RV show and we chose between the two. And we mm -hmm. chose the one with the Murphy bed and we are like, this is it. And we bought it right there. I remember the one with the recliners that I really uh, liked. I mean, that sounds nice too. That was a nice one. I'm already retired to go RVing again. You basically lived the retired life. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can't be retired. You would go crazy. I would go crazy. You need to do stuff, which is good. I know, like but, auntie right now. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of the, the answer. Um, if y'all have any other questions about living in a house versus an RV or vice versa, I'd love to answer them. Peel, peel free. Don't do that. <laughs> feel free to leave it below. <laughs> there's, there's too many F's in that conversation. <laughs> feel free. F those F's. Get out of here. Leave them below. Um, we'll answer them in a future video. Yes, we will. Do you have anything to add? No. All my stuff was at the front. If you got this point, I'm sorry. It was just boring <laughs> after my first little monologue. It was all. Oh. It was all me. You're here too. I'm what? what I said is this here? Just okay. That's sorry. it. Still Hope you're having things. a good day. Still figuring out the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Be merry out there. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>